So we return to this example that we were looking at earlier. Um, we found the initial kinetic energy of the block. We found the work done by the force. So we've got 10 Newton force pulling this three kilo block along a smooth surface of 15 meters with an initial velocity of two meters per second. Okay. And now we have the work energy principle. And we're going to use that to answer this new question. So part C, what is the block's final velocity? So, if we write it down, the work energy principle, we've got the initial gravitational potential energy plus the initial kinetic energy plus or minus the work done, okay, by uh, forces is going to be equal to the gravitational potential energy final plus the final kinetic energy. Now, in the case that we're considering, the block starts at ground level and ends at ground level. Okay, so we're just going to take GPE to be zero. The height is zero. So that is zero. The initial kinetic energy we worked out was six joules. And the work done by the force is adding energy into the system. So that's adding 150 joules into the system. Now that's the only force um, that is acting horizontally. So um, we don't need to take away friction because it's a smooth, uh, smooth surface. The gravitational potential energy final, well, as I said, it hasn't moved vertically. And so that is zero. And the kinetic energy final is one half times m times v squared. And so we've got here an equation that allows me to calculate the final velocity. So we have 156 is equal to 3 halves v squared. So 156 uh, times by 2 divided by 3 is 104. So v is going to be the square root of 104, which is 2 root 26, which is 10.2 meters per second to 3 sig fig. Okay, so this is how we are going to solve um, our energy, I was about to say, or solve our energy problems. Um, I think that's a different problem. Um, but for the, uh, the problems that we're going to be dealing with, um, if we lay out the work in this way, okay, if we lay out um, each question that we deal with, it avoids the problem of losing some of the forces, okay? So it's easy to miss something out if you don't have a regular way of laying your work, okay? So I would always recommend writing that down initially so that you can just plug in the information that you know and then you can work out what's missing, okay?